So here's my little five ton electric log splitter. I bought it second hand. Guy got it for Christmas from his wife. And he's like, the last thing I'm gonna do is split wood. I buy it split. I guess she didn't know that. I got it pretty cheap. The problem is the lawyers got involved and it requires two hands to operate it. One finger needs to be pushing down on this button here and the other hand has to be turning this lever here, pushing down on this lever here. So you th put a log in it, and if you had to reposition the log or kind of like move it a little bit, you can't because both hands are being occupied. And the reason for that is so that you don't put your hand in there and crush it. I get it, but I don't like it. So I have to beat the lawyers. So all I did was made a little aluminum thingamajigger here, drilled a hole through it with a pivot, and uh, piece of uh, stainless steel rod that I had hanging around and uh, bent it in a particular way and now when I push down on this lever both things activate so I don't have to use two hands any longer yep pretty simple modification. By the way, this splitter works amazing. So far, I have not found any wood it wouldn't split. It is splitting the nastiest, gnarliest, hardest woods, softest woods, knotty woods. It doesn't matter. Not one piece of wood so far has it not been able to split. And I love that I can do it right here in the garage. It's quiet. And do it in the rain or you know, if it's really cold out, although today it's beautiful out in the almost 60 degrees here in New England. Anyways, that's my five ton log splitter with my lawyer delete. Thank you.